Kit Guru's friends at Be Quiet got in touch to say if we send you a bunch of parts, do you fancy building a budget PC, perhaps aimed at gamers who haven't got a fortune to spend? I said, sure thing, why not? And it so happens with a coincidence of timing, right now it's the Wimbledon men's final happening at this very moment, and in but a few hours time, England's playing a football match against, I believe, the Italians. Happily, I don't follow football, so this is of no concern to me, although obviously, England. We have the Be Quiet Pure Base 500 DX case, which I have previously reviewed. We've got the Pure Loop 240mm cooling system. I haven't seen this. James has reviewed a similar sounding model. And we have a Pure Power 11FM 650 watt power supply, gold rated. And there is an SSD cooler I used just recently in a review of an NZXT Z590 motherboard that desperately needed some assistance with SSD cooling. The case sells for £90, the cooler for £80, the power supply also for £80, the SSD cooler sells for £13. And in that NZXT review I said something about £20, which is complete bunkum. £13 at retail for that SSD cooler. And they also sent this mouse mat. which doesn't seem to be listed as a product anywhere, so I think it's just some merch for Wii reviewer types. That, I think, is gonna make a very fine build mat. For the motherboard, I'm using an MSI Mag B560M Mortar Wi-Fi. We have an Intel Core i5-11400F processor, Sabrent Rocket 4.0 SSD, and some Trident Z RGB memory, 16 gigs. For the graphics card, I'm going for an RTX 2080 Super. My idea of a budget graphics card in 2021. It's a funny thing, since I last reviewed this 500DX case, I've pretty much forgotten all about it. I recall I liked it, I recall it went together quite well, and I recall it has decent airflow. Three Be Quiet fans installed, one in the front, one in the top, one in the rear, so that's plenty. There's the accessory pack. I'm only using the M.2, so the storage there I don't need. And that power supply will have no difficulty slipping in there, whatever. The power supply is fully modular. And as I start to connect the cables together, I see the football has kicked off. There we go. Let's have the intake fan down. Actually, we can lose this dry cage. We really don't need it. And two minutes in and England has scored. That's unexpected. We can put the power supply in from the rear, silly Leo. Let's take a look at that cooler. Right, 240mm cooler, two 120 fans, one 140 in the front, one 140 in the roof, one 140 at the rear, which we can ignore. So I'm either putting the cooler in the front or the cooler in the roof. It's a compact case, so I'm going to put the cooler at the front, which means I need to move this fan into the roof, and then that hardware can go up there. That'll make sense, doesn't it?
There we have it. Okay. Cooler in the front. Like so. I think that's too high. The pump is going to hit that fan blade. That's looking promising. Before I continue and get the motherboard installed, have you subscribed to Kit Guru Tech? If you haven't, why not do it now and ring the bell while you're at it? We've got Discord, other social media, and we sell merch. Right, MSI motherboard, Intel processor, Sabrent SSD, and we've got to put on some gubbins to do with the Be Quiet Liquid Cooler. And a half-time update from the football, it's still 1-0 to England. This is not what I expected. In a good way, I mean, it's a good thing. I'm just really surprised. Doesn't matter how many times I put a CPU in a CPU socket, I still get that ugh, moment and it all goes quiet. Let's put the heatsink on the Sabrent SSD next. Heatsink is held together with tiny little screws that we try not to drop. G Skill Trident ZRGB. 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz. No, mega transfers. And then we have the mounting kit. We're back after half time and one of the Italians has almost immediately got a yellow card. It's almost like the Italians are getting a touch nervous. Still can't blame them. Right, bracket in place, and then we take these nuts and we screw them down. It's one of those jobs you really don't want to do with the motherboard in the case and uh, working vertically. Imagine that would be tricky. Okay, there's that. And then we've got these two brackets and then we've got four screws. Motherboard assembly ready to go. You get this tiddly little tube of anonymous uh, thermal interface with uh, the Be Quiet cooler. I'm going to go for some Arctic MX-5. Might be over the top as it's only a little Core i5, but what the heck. And then we'll bring in the case, peel off the film. I think I'm gonna screw down to the motherboard before I install this in the case. Italy is equalised, so it's one all, and I have to say the second half is going all Italy's way. This is not feeling good, but this is looking good. While I've been having fun doing a little bit of cable management, the football has gone to extra time. One all at 90 minutes, and now extra time. You just know it's going to go to penalties, don't you? What a horrible, horrible game it is. Okay, graphics card. 
Haven't actually checked the graphics card fits. This could be funny. Yep, plenty of space. I'm about to start the PC and the football is on the verge of going to penalties. Oh, goodness me. That's it, our Be Quiet PC is complete and with the exception of the graphics card, I've done my best to keep to my word and build a budget gaming system. Core i5, reasonable SSD, decent memory, graphics card does push the budget a bit, but what can you do? So that's it, job done. As for the result in the football, honestly, I don't know how it finished. I wasn't keeping that close an eye on it. Honest. <laughs>